The objective of the Eastern Prairies Living Labs is to encourage the adoption of beneficial management practices um, in agricultural landscapes of Manitoba. Hi, I'm Pam Lowry. And I'm Glenn Lowry. We're a cow-calf producer in South Central Manitoba. We raise about 80 cow-calf pairs every year and do a rotational grazing system to uh, try and improve the land, improve the grass and make the farm a better place. The most exciting thing about this collaboration is working with Glenn and Pam who are very innovative producers and early adopters of a management practice um, known as adaptive multi-paddock grazing or mob grazing that we think can sequester a significant amount of carbon. My role with this Living Lab project is to evaluate practices or beneficial management practices that will sequester carbon and or reduce greenhouse gas emissions um, from farms and pastures. So in the case of this specific project, we are looking at the impact of the grazing management being used by Lowry's on sequestering carbon and uh, methane emissions from the animals. We're using a micrometeorological system and technique to measure the net carbon dioxide and methane fluxes from the herd of grazing cattle. So what, what we're trying to demonstrate here is putting um, some numbers to what, what the net carbon uptake of the vegetation and the soil system is versus the impact or influence of the cattle when they are here. My main role is to keep track of when the cattle are on the certain paddocks and how many numbers of cattle are out there. So Aaron can apply that to his research to see when the methane levels go up, that's when the cows are around the, the, the site when we have the data worked up and we can share it with you know Glenn and Pam and share it with the broader cattle ranching community that people will be able to take away and you know whether or not they it's a carbon copy of what they're doing or they just take tidbits of what has worked and apply it to their situation then that could be a uh, you know we could consider that a very positive outcome from the Living Labs program. The watershed district basically plays a role of, of main liaison between the federal researchers, the federal staff, and the landowners on the ground. It's important for us to be a partner. Uh, partnerships are kind of at the core of everything that we do, uh, especially the partnerships with our local landowners across the district. It gives landowners uh, like the Lowry's an idea of the impact that, that they're having on the watershed and based on the impacts that are discovered through the, the research that's ongoing, they can either modify or, or change or keep doing what they're doing with, uh, with their operations if, if things are going well. We have a lot of young producers um, coming to us. Um, obviously they see what we're doing here and they're questioning it and they are applying their, their practices and changing their thoughts and the way things are as well. The data showing how grazing management systems can, can have uh, an impact on the watershed, both with land, water, air, uh, and just the, the knowledge that small landowners can make a difference. They don't need to be a, a large corporate farm or, or farm a, a ton of acres but small, small landowners can make a difference and a, a difference that we can repeat with other landowners. Kind of comes back to the goal of the Living Labs and what we're hoping to achieve. This idea of co-development is a bit broader that Glenn and Pam were already doing something that was great. So if we get actual data that supports what they're doing, whether it's on the greenhouse gas side, um, soil health, biodiversity, or altogether as a package, then that can you know, serve in his example with the broader cattle ranching community. What we're doing here is really good for, for the farm, for one, for the cattle. And working together with Aaron and the Living Labs project, we can help. We're proud of what we do here and it's benefiting the land and 
everything and everyone.